Hello, everyone. Welcome to my special new moon reach out today as I wanted to share with you a few things about the energy today and some wonderful ways to help you to connect to what's ready to be cleared. The new moon is today, if you're watching this live, September 17th. This is a wonderful and powerful moon as it is the new moon that's going to launch us into our fall equinox that arrives next week on the 22nd. So it's a powerful and potent time today or within the next couple days for you to do some inventory and re-evaluation. So this moon is in Virgo. Virgo is a very organized kind of energy. So it's a wonderful time to take inventory of your life. And I wanted to share with you a few different things that I encourage you to look at and find somewhere safe and sacred to do this work. Whether it's in Mother Nature, it's in maybe a safe space in your home, or it could even be with people that you feel safe with to talk about this. So this moon really challenges us to look at what is no longer serving us. And then to look at where have we been procrastinating and making excuses about staying stuck where we're at. There is this journey, this path that is waiting for all of us to step into. And for so many of us, we're feeling stuck with excuses, with the unknown that's with us right now, as well as with a lot of this, as I like to call it, this isolation, untrusting, that this kind of stuck, stagnant energy that we're feeling right now. There is a lot of fear energy that is out there right now that is really keeping a lot of people that want to step into their light a little worrisome. I don't know if I step out there and I speak up for what I believe to be true or I step into my light. Is it going to be welcomed in? And the thing to be aware of is when all of us that are ready to step into our light, when we do our personal work, we actually are collectively helping the entire world to do their work. Now, they might not be on the same pace we're at. And so this is an opportunity for you to figure out, as I love to call it, where you can vibe with your tribe a little bit more. So a wonderful new moon ritual to do today that's going to move you into a powerful fall equinox next week is to take an inventory of your life in these quadrants. And this is how I generally work with many of my clients when they do one-on-one -on -one coaching work with me. We want to look at your physical health. And take an inventory. Where do you want and see your health moving in the future? And then look at what are excuses, procrastination, or other people's crap that you're holding on to that's keeping you stuck where you're at in the realm of your physical health. Then you want to look at your work. And this is whatever it is for you. The job you do. This could be the work you do in a community if you're retired. This could be maybe the work you do if you're a stay-at-home parent, but the work that you do. And again, you want to look at those three things, excuses, procrastination, and other people's stuff. Then you're going to want to look at your spiritual work. So this is however you connect to divine, spiritually. This could be religious or otherwise. Where do you see yourself moving forward? And then those three things. Excuses, procrastination, other people's stuff. Once we've moved through those, we have now this connection to our physical health, our bodies. We have the work that we're doing out there in the world. And then we have that spiritual work, that work we're moving towards. Now your spiritual work is this work with you, your most authentic self. And you wanna look at these three categories. When we can feel at home, in our bodies and our physical well-being, our body is operating more powerfully. When we can be and feel at home in the work we're doing in this world, and when we can feel at home with our own selves, then more powerful things can occur for us in the realms of finances, relationships, maybe opportunities that you didn't see were available. 
So if you can take the inventory of those three things, what you can then do is allow yourself to see where you can move forward. When we do that, we change our vibration. And then that attracts more things into our lives. Many of my clients, when I work with them, we do this deep therapeutic soul level work, whether they're on my massage table, they're getting energy clearing sessions, they're in a retreat, in person or virtual, or they're doing coaching work with me, it's the same. First we come home to our bodies, then we nurture our minds, we move through and take care of our emotions, and then access true joy in our soul. This approach can work for anything, but when you can feel more at home within you, anything is possible. And this is what this moon is asking you to do. Take some inventory. Once you do it, I encourage you to light a candle and manifest it and sit. Even if you set a timer for just one minute, sit and look at the flicker of the flame and see that igniting what you want in your life in those three areas. And then our equinox next week is going to be all about getting your chakras in alignment and then seeing what you are ready to step into. And so it's a great prep for this new moon to see where you want to go, take some inventory so that powerfully when the fall equinox occurs, you can begin to step into it. There is right now energetically, astrologically, and even socially, people are needing those of us that are ready to step into our light, be courageous, share that love. The world needs us now. And it's a great opportunity for those of us that are ready to do it. Now, the one thing I did mention were my retreats and the events I run. Or I said earlier before, vibe with your tribe. It's really important when you do sacred work like this that you do vibe with your tribe. There's going to be people in your lives that aren't ready to step into this stuff yet. There's going to be people in your lives that resist you stepping into this stuff. You don't need to change them or make them do anything differently. All you need to do, it's a yes and more option. Yes, I can allow you to be in the space you're at, and I'm going to go over to this tribe so I can learn to ignite my light a little bit more. Many people, particularly women, come and vibe in my tribe, and we work collectively together to spread this light and love. If it's something that you want more information on, from the one-on-one -on -one work to energy clearing work to the coaching and even my in-person massage, I'm here to support you. The great thing is when people work with me one-on-one, -on -one, the bonus they receive is free admission into all my events, vibing with my tribe. If you're somebody that wants to just begin this experience by vibing with my tribe, we have a phenomenal fall equinox event that's actually going to happen October 3rd. There is the equinox, as well as many Jewish holidays occurring in September. And so I wanted to honor all of my tribe and just delay the equinox celebration a couple of days after so that I could allow those that celebrate some of these other things to be able to celebrate. So from 11 to 2 Eastern, we're joining together for a fall equinox virtual retreat where you're going to create safe and sacred space for yourself in your own home while vibing with a powerful tribe. I would love for any of you that want to join us to come join us. It's going to be an epic event. We're going to do body, mind, emotional soul work in alignment with that fall equinox. Now, I have some really awesome packages available, and if any of you are interested in what a customized package could be, vibing with the tribe, as well as experiencing a few other things I have coming up, reclaim your unapologetic self, and as well, I have the one-on-one -on -one work the fall equinox would be complementary to some of these customized experiences. Have an awesome full moon, or new moon, have an awesome new moon, so that you can move powerfully into our fall equinox next week. Any questions from what I shared, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm more than happy to support you. I'm going to leave some information about that fall equinox, but if you're interested in a customized experience, it would just take 10 minutes for us to hop on the phone. I love having conversations with people that are ready to light their that inner light within and also to vibe with my tribe. And we would just set up a time to hop on the phone. I'll also just put a link to connect with me. So if you're interested in how I could customize and package an experience and you can get a lot of events for free, I'm more than happy to explore that as well. 
All right, the new moon is today. I encourage you to get out there, find some time and sacred space to take your inventory of physical well-being, your work, and your sense of connection to self and spirit so that you can powerfully move into the equinox next week. Have a great rest of your day. Happy new moon in Virgo. Be well, everybody.